Hey guys, how do you like my new surroundings? Very nice. Not nearly as disturbing with all the pictures on the wall. You can still see some of them up there, but it's not a big deal. Got my friend the guitar here with me. Might make me feel a little more relaxed. So, um, next time you're at the grocery store, check out the cat litter aisle. There is a brand of cat litter, I kid you not, called Cat's Pride. Now, I want to know who came up with that name and what were they thinking when they named the cat litter Cat's Pride. Is buying this litter supposed to make your cat proud of what he does in the litter box? Like, would they manufacture a toilet and call it Man's Pride? I mean, I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, if I can understand if someone is buying this brand because it's just their regular brand. That's understandable. But if anyone is buying this brand because of the name, if even 1% of the psychological reason that they are buying it is because of the name, you know, I'd, <laughs> gee, I, I kind of would like to know how that's possible. And I don't know. It's, it's not that I demand some explanation. I'm not really serious here. But but good lord, you know, cat's pride? That's, that's crazy. I don't know, man. It's funny. The more I think about it, the funnier it gets. You know, I've been thinking about it for six years. It's still getting funnier. Anyway, and if anybody watches ABC Family and they watch the show Kyle XY, let me know what you think of it because I'm thinking about watching it. Now that Lost and all that shit's not on anymore, I kind of want to have at least one TV show to watch regularly and that might be the one. It sounds like it could be interesting. So, and Otherwise, there's not a lot going on. I've been playing this hack. Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past. Somebody took the game and basically hacked it. Rearranged the entire world. Kind of like the second quest of the first Zelda. But, um... Yeah, it's really cool. It's really hard. So, I heard somebody did one of Super Metroid, too. I want to check that out, too. The way I found out about it was I was downloading... I was looking for Super Mario World videos on here. And I found Super Mario World hack videos of people playing it. And I was like, wait a minute, where did they get this? I, they never released this for Nintendo. It's because, well, it never came out for Nintendo. Someone took the, the ROM file, which is basically a file you download to your computer where you play the game on your computer. They took the ROM file, they hacked it, and they put in all these different worlds. They rearranged all the worlds and made them like ten times harder. So, <laughs> man, whoever did that is like a genius, I'm telling you. Nintendo should like buy the rights to some of these and release them as games on the Wii or something because... They, you know, they could be, they could be like millionaires. Well, they are millionaires, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, enough about that. Um, today is day eleven, or is it day twelve? I think it's day eleven. Today is July twelfth, you no, know, July second, two thousand seven. So that would be eleven days, right? Yeah, eleven. Duh. So eleven days and four hours. How many hours is that? Twenty-four times eleven is two hundred sixty-four. Plus four is 268. So 268 hours now that I've been off of tobacco. At least that's what I'd love to believe, but the truth is I kind of had a stressful day at work today, and I know you guys are probably going to be a little disappointed in me, but, well. <sighs> I'm just kidding. That was my deposit slip. That's not a cigarette. <laughs> had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No, I'm not going back to that again. i got to tell you, my stress levels have been lower than ever. When I see people around me now who smoke, and I see all the stress that they're in when they're actually in there working and not smoking, I think to myself, you know, a lot of good those cigarettes are doing you. And a lot of good they did me when I smoked them, hell. I feel better now than I, than I did when I smoked. And I, I knew I was going to. I mean, I did the same thing happened last time I quit. It's just a matter of getting past that first week, I'm telling you. But, but man, it's like I haven't been having those crazy mood swings like I used to. It's like I don't feel like... I, I don't know how I am relative to how I was before. I know I might be a little more tense now and then. Because I'm always going to be tense around people. I mean, I can't really change that. But, you know, so it's hard for me to judge as far as quitting smoking, how it's changing the way I act around people because I'm always tense. I'm just always, you know, looking away and shit. Even the camera scares me, but, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I think I need to go ahead and turn this off, because I don't feel like sitting here all day converting. But, uh, yeah, I still haven't come up with any good lines to finish off my videos, except for maybe, uh, love, 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 love. You know, that's kind of silly, though. There was a certain other word I would rather use there, but...
try not to use that because it's kind of offensive. But yeah, at least it could be to somebody. You know, when you got 160 people watching, there's gonna be somebody who finds it offensive. Of course, I don't know, man. I don't know how how does somebody deal with having 20,000 subscribers. I couldn't even imagine. At that point, you would almost have to just totally disregard all of them because you can't pay attention to a single one of them and actually, you know, have any, be able to explain yourself later if, a, if, if any one of the other 19,999 of them came up and said, why don't you give me that same kind of attention, you know? You wouldn't have an answer for them. You just have to pick and choose, same as you do if you have 50 subscribers, basically. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about subscribers because, well, that's kind of silly. I feel like talking about that anyway. I feel like playing Super Mario Sunshine. So I guess maybe I'll do that now. I'll turn off this camera and I'm going to go play Super Mario Sunshine because I have free will and I'm going to do that because that's uh, my life, because I love my life and all that stuff. Yeah. Dude, I, I just went totally nuts at the end of this. This video was perfect until about a minute ago. And then I just went totally nuts so on you. Did you see that just now? I mean, what the heck happened there? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it, it would be so easy to... Uh, to try to write that off as some kind of act. It's not an act. I mean, I don't know what I did there. I don't even know what happened. Okay, enough about that. Enough about that. Stop trying to explain yourself. Stop trying to pretend like you don't want to explain yourself. Stop trying to pretend like you actually have the answer to why you do what you do. Because you don't, Tim. You don't. Now I'm talking to myself. Yeah, this is lovely. This is real lovely. Yeah, people are really going to love this. Oh, my God. i got to stop saying that. People are really going to love this, you know, because... If you admit that people aren't going to like it, that doesn't mean that they are. You know, that's reverse psychology. You can only use that so much. Mm, I don't know. It's like saying that something's boring as a way of making it interesting. It doesn't make something interesting just because you admit that it's boring. And I, of all people, have got to learn that at some point in my life. But, <clears throat> no, but there's plenty of people that say, you know, they call themselves boring, and I have no problem with that. So, you know, there are a, lot, a lot of my favorite people are the people who do that because it makes you humble, in a way. The problem is, you can't be humble and be aware that you're humble, or else, you know, <laughs> that ruins it. My problem is I'm aware of it. You see, I'm hyper-aware. I'm aware of everything. So it's impossible for me to be a good person, because I'm aware that I'm a good person. Dude, I have totally gone off the deep end here. I should have stopped this camera, like, two and a half minutes ago now. I should have stopped it two and a half minutes ago. Okay. Well, let's stop it now before anything else happens, because I'm getting really scared here. <laughs> yeah, bye.